So, another early morning. Just heading out of the town here now. 20 past five. We've had a bit of a warm night. Okay, 65 to Samarkand. It gives us an easier day today, hopefully. We put it in 90 kilometers yesterday. So our room there, I didn't have any air conditioning. And, uh, it didn't seem too hot when we first got there, but in the night it was just quite warm, really. Managed to sleep, but uh, wasn't that comfortable. I was sweating a lot. And much cooler to be out on the road and in the in the house there. these buildings in towns they seem to attract the heat so it's hotter in the towns and has to get out into the countryside here it's nice and cool so, uh, always make it easier staying in towns you see now why people just camp out on the side of the road here oh. they just sleep next to their stalls in the fresh air it's much more comfortable actually a few hills on this last stage to Samarkand First hills we've seen for a few days now. where people stop and meet. So, now we've just done 5,000 kilometers since we left home. Well, start cycling 5,000 kilometers. Yeah. We've also got 2,000 kilometers in a bus in Iran and what 2,000 to get down to the start in Croatia. So, mm -hmm. We're on the bike now, officially 5,000. Yep. 5,000 kilometers! This is our first breakfast break up to 40 kilometers. Oh, I'm a bit tired today. I don't think I slept very well in that uh, heat of the guest house there. No, yeah, we can get fresh or oh, cold juice and uh, some strawberry flavor and some yogurt. That was nice. Now we sit here in the middle of this town here. Uh, lots and lots of sooty cars everywhere. Extremely busy place. We found a nice quiet place to sit here. In the shade from the shop. Yeah. In the shade before it gets hot. I think we've got about 25 kilometers to do and then we are in summer camp. Okay, let's go to summer camp. So, and we've got 12 kilometers left. It's starting to get hot. We've also had a headwind all day, which is making it harder work today to do 70 kilometers than yesterday when we did 90. It's slightly hilly up and down all day. So, oh yeah, hard work today. But soon in summer camp. Bigger city here than Bokar. Okay, we 
ready to summer camp. Let's see if we can get some lunch now. Breakfast. Oh, that was hard work today. I was tired. All day. And now we uh, have some lunch. Get a little bit refreshed. Here they even provide cold water outside the restaurant. <laughs> okay, this is the lunch today in summer camp. Yes, and now we just come to summer camp, and, and so we have found a little restaurant here. It looks very nice, and so we are trying this kind of food, rice and some vegetable and some little bit meat on the top. So this is the lunch today. And how is it good? I haven't tasted it yet. I think it looks very good. <laughs> and then and now next we, we have been very hard. Now we're having a rest. Yeah. yeah and it's mom, been a hard day today. I've been tired today. And mom are very glad today because now the cold juice. So that is good. Yeah, it's cold for them. Okay, so this is Reggie Stone Square, the main mosque here in Summer Camp. So we picked up now, we'll be coming back tomorrow maybe. No, oh, you did it. Come to Summer Camp. I think we had to bike around with a loudspeaker on the bikes saying hello. Yes, we are from Denmark because we've been asked that question. 50 times today, I think. So could we just have a speak on this says it for us? Yeah. Not easy being an attraction. <laughs> ah, here's a big photo hotel. We just tried to look at one. It was three kilometers from the center with a swimming pool, but there was no water in the pool. And nobody there. So now we're trying to find one a little bit closer to the mosque here. again no matter how many films you watch it's always different when you get here in real life much bigger than I imagined much more modern and uh, I expected some dusty Silk Road city but uh, very very new and renovated city to explore. I would have explored a lot of cities. <laughs> but here's one more. Samarkand. Another major town city on the Silk Road. So we just tried to get a room here. Really nice place right next to the mosque. But I don't have a room here until September. <laughs> Bit of a shame, this would have been a really nice place. But, uh, that's the way it is. Now we see if we can arrange another place, see if we can find that. So I've plenty, of, plenty of places to come back and explore the next few days. Yeah. Okay. Third attempt to find a hotel, we succeeded. Found this nice place here, a room's there. Some bikes are down there. And now we're having tea here. And that was good. Succeeded in the end, took some time. It's a very nice place we found. Now yeah, they're giving us tea, so that's always good. And some good cement indoor grapes. Grapes? Grapes, yeah. And some white yeah, it's amazing. So it's a small thing like a cup of tea just makes you feel welcome when you yeah. arrive. And it's so simple and it just gives a good impression of the hotel. Yeah, no, it doesn't have to be luxurious, just a nice atmosphere and yeah. nice friendly people. Yeah. So I've just been in Samarkand a few hours now. I haven't been in the show yet, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, first thing we notice, it's much cooler here. 
guy in the hotel told us it's normally 32 degrees here. And they said, oh, have you been to Bokara? It's really hot. He says, normally it's 40 or 42 there, which maybe that's why it uh, feels more fresh here. So that's nice. Maybe that helps getting more energy again. So uh, but, uh, that's good. Maybe we can do a little bit more sightseeing now and get out if it's not that hot. So uh, let's see how it goes. So it's about 8 o'clock and really nice and cool now. That's the first time we've been cold for oh, three weeks or so. Fantastic. It's actually a bit of a cool breeze and it hasn't been... Yeah burning hot today. We've actually been outside in the afternoon. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah before we went out for dinner, we, was, we just went into the bank just to change some money, some dollars to Uzbekistan money. And that took two minutes. Very easy. Seven o'clock in the evening, the bank was open. And then we were just thinking about how difficult it was in Armenia. It took forever just to change some money. It was really a big problem. And here, so simple and easy. So we arrived here in Samarkand. Been uh, yeah, four days on the bike to get here, so uh, four very hot days where we, yeah, probably the first time we biked in such hot temperatures, but it was possible getting up early and cycling till lunchtime and then just spending the rest of the day in air conditioned rooms, apart from yesterday. <laughs> so that was possible. I wasn't sure was it, whether it was this start of the week, but uh, now we're here. It's another major important city on the Silk Road, quite a big city we've seen, so we'll spend the next few days here now uh, exploring, seeing the sights here, so that should be good, so okay. That's about it for now, I think uh, we need a rest, we haven't had an afternoon nap today, we spent a lot of time uh, looking at different hotels, so uh, now we're here, so okay, we'll uh, see you tomorrow for a bit of sightseeing around Samarkand. Perfect. How is that room? That's better. This is our new room. It will be the next few days.